হ্যালো এভরিওয়ান আশা করছি আবার দেখা হয়েছে মানে জানি না কত নম্বর হচ্ছে এটা কারণ সিকোয়েন্সগুলো এক্সাক্টলি আমার মনে নেই এখন এটা যাচ্ছে কাইন্ড অফ ওপেন হ্যামার বলে একজন ব্যক্তি ছিলেন যার উপর বিখ্যাত আমেরিকান ফিল্ম ডিরেক্টর ক্রিস্টোফার নলেন সিনেমা বানাচ্ছেন কেন বানাচ্ছেন কি দরকার মানে সিনেমাটা না বানালেও তো হতো মানে সিনেমাটা বানাবার তো স্পেসিফিক কোনো কারণ ছিল না বাট আমরা কি জানি ওপেন হ্যামার কি করেছিল anniversary of uh, Rebecca and uh, myself Shoho and uh, in this video I'll be uh, talking about uh, atom bombs so let's begin so uh, let me change the color of it first okay okay uh, at first uh, we'll talk about uh, nuclear energy okay here you can see the structure of the atom the center of the atom there lies the nucleus in the nucleus there are uh, positively charged uh, protons and the <coughs> no, neutral neutrons and uh, the negatively charged electrons keep revolving around them so in the center of the atom that is the nucleus the positive features protons and uh, neutral neutrons are held together by a strong nuclear force and this strong nuclear force is strongest among the four fundamental uh, forces which occur in nature so as the size of the nucleus increases the stability decreases because uh, this positively charged protons they uh, experience columbic force of repulsion okay this is one of the reasons due to the less stability of uh, heavier nucleus okay so for that in order to gain stability a uh, heavy nucleus uh, a heavy nucleus is split into lighter to lighter nuclei in with the release of huge amount of energy okay so here we can see that uh, an accelerated electron uh, sorry a uh, neutron hits an uranium uh, nucleus and then it splits into two lighter nuclei of uh, krypton and barium with the release of huge amount of energy and the third process is known as nuclear fission okay so see here uh uh an uranium uh, so a uranium nucleus is uh, hit by the accelerated neutron and the neutrons which are released by this uh, reaction hits another uh, uranium uranium uh, nucleus and this chain reaction continues 
and this is known as a nuclear chain uh, reaction. Okay, and uh, this principle is mainly used in making uh, atom bombs. So let's move forward. Okay, historical context. Okay. So here, uh, picture in the left is of Werner Heisenberg, and uh, the right is uh, Robert Oppenheimer. Okay. So in the in August uh, 1939, the Nazis started uh, make, uh, making atom bombs. And Werner Heisenberg uh, was one of the pioneers uh, in the nuclear program of Germany. Uh, okay, and uh, seeing this as a threat, uh, Sir Albert Einstein he wrote a letter to then President of USA Roosevelt regarding the danger that the uh, Germans are trying to make an atom bomb. And due to that, uh, Roosevelt formed the Manhattan Project. And uh, Robert J. Oppenheimer was appointed as the director of this project. So let's go forward. The Manhattan Project. So Einstein on uh, uh, 2nd August uh, 1939 wrote a letter to uh, the President uh, Roosevelt regarding the danger the Germans were making that, uh, trying to make an atom bomb. And for that, the Manhattan Project, uh, project was formed. Uh, in 1939, August 1939, and uh, here, this is this picture is of a bomb which was used uh, in the Trinity test, the Trinity test, uh, um, which was conducted on 16th uh, July uh, 1945. This was the first uh, successful atom bomb test. Uh, here, uh, this is the Trinity test site, and uh, this video depicts the uh, Trinity test being conducted. So, the Los uh, Alamos lab served its making site where the atom bombs were made, as in the so let's move forward. Now, uh, what is an uh, atom uh, bomb? So we uh, talked we talked about uh, nuclear uh, fission. Talked about nuclear fission. So what happens in a nuclear fission? A certain uh, amount of mass is required to sustain the reaction, which is called the Critical mass. Okay. This mass is required to uh, sustain this reaction. And uh, uh, on the basis uh, uh, of that, the nuclear fission is uh, very uh, out. Now, uh, new at and at uh, atom bombs are of mainly two types. One is Gun uh, type. Uh, another is implosion uh, type. So, uh, what happens in a uh, gun uh, type uh, assembly is that uh, a gun type uh, assembly, there is a tube. Uh, in one part, uh, there is uh, an uranium gun, and another there is neutron generator, and uh, 
um, then this area is in the way which explosives and uh, there is the fissile material. So when the bomb is detonated, this uranium uh, gun is uh, hits this uranium gun hits this neutron not uh, generated, which is new neutron generated and as, as neutrons are formed there, then there is a fissile material and thus uh, what happens uh, the fissile material which remains in the subcritical stage so when this uh, uh, uranium hits this uh, neutron generator it then uh, Transforms into super, uh, the transforms into super critical state, and thus a uh, nuclear fission, nuclear back, nuclear chain reaction takes place, and thus the huge, the enormous release, uh, the release of enormous amount of energy so uh, and thus an explosion obviously so this is uh, this uh, uh, the case of uh, gun assembly uh, the gun type uh, atom bomb so what happens in uh, this other type that is uh, explosion type is that uh, here is a picture of the explosion type well in the center uh, in the center, there is uh, the fissile material is kept, and uh, these the, are uh, mainly explosives. So, when the bomb is detonated, uh, due to immense pressure, uh, this fissile material then uh, goes into nuclear fission uh, and thus uh, release uh, release of huge amount of energy and there's an explosion so this is what happens uh, in pollution time atom bomb so let's move forward so uh, on uh, 6th august uh, 1945 uh, uh, Hiroshima, Hiroshima, uh, city in Japan, uh, USA dropped uh, an atom bomb, which was which is named uh, Little Boy. So this was a gun type uh, atom bomb. You can see this is the picture of uh, Little Boy. And this is equivalent to 14,500 TNDs. And the result was you know, very destructive. This is the aftermath of you know, erosion after the, uh, after the bomb is dropped. Uh, uh, Let's move forward. Next, uh, Fat Man on 9th August 1945, Nagasaki. Another city in Japan. Another atom bomb was dropped by USA. And this was more sophisticated and complex than the previous one that is little boy because this batman is an implosion type uh bomb and uh, this is the that this was equivalent to twenty thousand yen 
and uh, the treasure level is very catastrophic. Obviously, you can see this is a raft of uh, This is the picture of the dominant drops. And this is uh, the back uh, bump. So let's move forward. Okay. Next, the yeah, hydrogen bomb. Okay. This uh, this picture is of uh, Albert Teller, the father of uh, hydrogen bomb. What happens? Hydrogen bomb is that we learned about nuclear uh, fission where a heavy nucleus is split into two platinum nucleus, the release of a huge uh, amount of energy. But, uh, what happens in uh, nuclear fusion is that two lighter nuclei fuses to form a heavy nucleus with a release of huge amount of energy. Uh, so, this principle is mainly used in the uh, hydrogen bomb, which is also known as uh, the thermal nuclear bomb. Why is it called thermal nuclear? Because in order to perform this nuclear fusion, Huge amount of temperature is required. So, what happens in this uh, hydrogen bomb is that in one part, an implosion type, implosion type bomb is kept in another part in cylinder. Uh, the isotopes of hydrogen, that is deuterium and tritium, are kept uh, at the, the center of the cylinder. Uh, plutonium uh, 239 isotope is kept. So when the bomb is detonated, this implosion. Uh, Bomb is first bursted, so then uh, the plutonium 39 rod is then triggered, and it also undergoes nuclear fission. And due to the amount, due to the, due to huge amount of temperature and uh, pressure, this uh, hydrogen isotopes then undergoes nuclear fusion with the release of enormous amount of energy. In fact, one sorry, sorry, uh, what, uh, hydrogen bomb is uh, equivalent uh, to seven hundred. Atom bombs. This is this is very destructive, destructive meaning. It's hydrogen bomb. So let's move forward. Now let's talk about nuclear radiation. So there are mainly uh, three types of radiation. Alpha, beta, and gamma. So, what happens uh, in alpha decay is that um, this nucleus uh, is uh, transformed into a lighter nucleus with the uh, release of a helium nucleus. And this helium nucleus is called the alpha particle. What happens in a beta decay? There are many two types of beta decay, beta uh, plus 
beta decay uh, in the nucleus a uh, neutron is uh, transformed into a proton and an electron and this is this is this is beta decay and what happens in a gamma decay is that uh, uh, say this is a nucleus and it, it, it is it's, it's um, excited uh, state and uh, in order to gain stability it, it releases a gamma particle so the three type the penetration of this three uh, uh, types of radiation is shown here so that an alpha particle is easily blocked by a thin sheet of paper. A uh, beta particle is blocked by a sheet of aluminium and a gamma particle is blocked by a thick sheet of the lead. Now, the effect of nuclear radiation. Now, this nuclear radiation is uh, very dangerous. In fact, uh, this radiation causes damage to our DNA. The alpha radiation, uh, which can be stopped by the skin, the particles entering the body through food or lungs or this are dangerous, obviously. And uh, uh, the beta radiation consists of electrons, but it is less stable with the alpha particles. And gamma radiation consists of electromagnetic waves in the X rays. Neutrals in terms of stone ionized, man, uh, don't, uh, ionized matter, but they uh, interact with other atoms to generate uh, other types of radiation. So, radiation is very really dangerous. Uh, so, when this is one of the reasons why atoms, atom bombs are so destructive because uh, the place where the atom bomb uh, is targeted, that place is not only uh, destruct, uh, is damaged, but uh, after the uh, after dropping the bomb, also there is thing called radioactive uh, fallout, you know, uh, which is very dangerous. In fact, this uh, cataract uh, exposure to beta or gamma radiation uh, may, can occur. Thyroid cancer through intake of uh, radioactive uh, iodine can uh, occur. So. This is very devastating. So uh, let's move forward. Now, uh, this is uh, this are modern. In this in this picture, see this 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 two are this scale. This two are the, the size it shows the Hiroshima and Trinity test. And see the today's nuclear test is this bizarre bomb or Soviet Union's test. So today's atom bombs are very uh, sophisticated, sophisticated and uh, very, 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 very uh, destructive. Destructive. It, it includes like ballistic. Ballistic, uh, then cruise, cruise, then short range, short range, and sometimes maybe tactical also. And uh, see, this is uh, the, this, the picture depicts a uh, thermonium here, worm hat. Uh, this is a B611 bomb. So let's uh, move forward. Let's talk about 
in this uh, nuclear program. So this is this is a picture of uh, uh, Homi Jahangir Baba. Uh, he's known as father of Indian nuclear program. And uh, India's uh, on uh, first uh, on eighteenth uh, uh, May. Uh, 1974, uh, India's first successful atom bomb, bomb uh, test was carried out at Pokhran uh, in Rajasthan, and uh, this is known as Smiley. So, uh, this picture shows uh, the then Prime Minister Bhagavan uh, uh, inspecting the site, and again on 11th of May uh, 1998, uh, an another atom bomb. Uh, was uh, Adam Montes was uh, carried out at Poker and uh, that is known as Poker 2 or Operation Shakti. Uh, where this picture shows the then Prime Minister uh, Atel Bihari Bajpayee uh, inspected the test site. And here are uh, the team of scientists behind this. Uh, then, uh, after 11th May, on, uh, uh, at on the 11th of May, a series of bombs was carried out uh, till 13th May 1998. Also. And uh, this was mainly uh, 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 peaceful nuclear explosion. So let's move forward. Now, coming to the conclusion, seeing the destructive, see the destructive nature of atom bombs, uh, com uh, comprehensive nuclear, nuclear test ban treaty. Uh, was formed, uh, uh, which was then, you know, uh, accepted by uh, UN uh, General Assembly on uh, 20th of uh, September uh, 1996. So, uh, because uh, uh, the uh, the result of a nuclear explosion of you of using a nuclear weapon is very catastrophic. So it was the treaty was formed, which uh, bans the use of any nuclear uh, weapon for any civilian or military purpose. Uh, so we can, uh, so uh, basically uh, on uh, 9th August uh, 1945, uh, this is, that was last time a nuclear weapon uh, was used. So uh, let's move. Uh, so uh, these are the sites. Uh, I have used uh, the image so GI is for my slide. Then let's uh, say thank you to all of you. Uh, this is the poster of uh, of the of an upcoming film Oppenheimer, which is uh, based on the life of Robert Oppenheimer, uh, directed by the great Christopher Nolan. I would urge all of you to watch this movie if you are really, really interested 
uh, and all the stuff. And yeah, thank you. Good day.